Senatorial candidate Tim Sheehy says that he's on board with abolishing the Department of Education, restructuring how educational funding works. But what does that mean for schools like this one here in Montana? We have a Department of Education, which I don't think we need anymore. It should go away. That'll save us $30 billion right there. First of all, I just want to start. Did you, is that the verbatim? Is that what you said? And, and you know, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. We have federal agencies that are far outside their writ. And I don't think we need a federal Department of Education telling our parents uh, how they need to educate their kids. Uh, I think all the money we This is Scott McCulloch, who's been teaching since 1977 and a member of the District 2 school board since 2018. The Department of Education says that the federal government believes education is important, just as important as health and human services, just as important as the military. A move to abolish the Department of Education would be historic, requiring congressional action. The department becoming a standalone agency in the 80s when it split off from the Department of Health, Education and Welfare now has a primary purpose, setting education standards and monitoring school performance. The notion that we can have a functioning democracy without public education is a notion that's as flawed as the day is long. But Sheehy, among other Republicans, are vowing to abolish the department, saying this doesn't mean getting rid of public education. We will cut federal funding for any school or program pushing critical race theory. 6% of Montana K-12 through parents last year switched to home and private schooling. And that's school choice. That's if you want to homeschool. That's public school, that's private school, that's charter schools. A choice some, like she, he say, come from a place of concern about the material being offered in public schools. All of a sudden we're talking about, you know, um, this notion that there is in fact an agenda to uh, somehow politicize social studies in our schools. McCulloch, however, argues alternative schooling doesn't hold up to public standards. He says she, he's block grant funding ideas aren't as transparent as public school funding yeah. currently is. Block grant funding has some advantages, but it also has disadvantages when it comes to our education system. How do you know that the money's being used wisely if it's just sent in a chunk? Could we, in fact, see money going under a voucher system to some program that's more Harry Potter in nature than it is anything else? Marcus Kakova, MTN News.